Okay guys, we are back from a crash. Now something weird happened. Apparently I thought the game crashed and I stopped recording, but I ended up not actually recording. So I, 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 we didn't progress anywhere in story. I'm just traveling to locations that I already have fast travel stuff to. So I went back to the compass and it told, I figured, oh, I'll just grab the broken compass. So then I'll get evil karma for giving them broken fucking shit. But that's not what it is. I Now I have to take it back to a workbench instead, which I find to be completely stupid. But whatever, we'll go with the game. So basically, just start off to the Eastern Virgin uh, location, which you should already have on your fast travel location. And we're just going to fast travel there from here. As we came over here, I went over here, grabbed some shit. And apparently, we also found a white horse person around here. Oh, there they are. Nice. How you doing, buddy? Good. You're doing good. Good. So anyway... Weirdest thing is, is apparently they call the ants picnic killers, and apparently, and I just have to ask, is that an actual saying for ants picnic killers? Like, I get that they, I get that they can just be a saying, but. Oh yes, we still have little plant monster things here, which is fucking lovely, if you ask me. The same one that pushed me into the wall and all the shit we found at the big uh, empty, or big empty, yeah, just a big empty. So, lots of fun there. So, you should also get a fast travel location for this bridge. And then over there, we have the Yao Oguive Cave. Because, you know, we couldn't just leave that back in New Vegas. Definitely not. What the fuck do you do? <laughs> or, left that back in um, the wasteland in Fallout 3. Was there an official name for that? That, that was uh, DC, wasn't it? Washington, DC that took place. Which was probably the most different part of about that game is that it took place in such a time period that the um or not such a time period but the location because everything was more on the uh, west side of the united states be interesting to see uh I, I don't know about i don't know where fallout 4 takes place though oh, and now we have motherfucking yao guai again okay dead doesn't mean we're done yet we got another cub up there Bam. Good to go, baby. You're you. Oh, God. What the fuck are you... Where the fuck are you even at, dude? Fuck you, Bighorn. Where's my buddy even at? What do you do? What do you do? Okay, so we're almost at this location here. The Cause I still have that. Yeah, I should still have that on my map. Yep. Because I figured there was honestly no point in trying to... Oh! What do we got up there? Oh! Fuck. There we go. There we go. Hopefully that helps. I don't know how the fuck I f fuck how the fuck did I lose that motherfucker up there? Sorry, that's funny. Uh oh, my main man's unconscious. I gotta go save him. I'm coming, lover. I mean, a uh, friend who is very uh very good looking, very handsome devil. I I, I forgot to make that joke about. I was gonna. I was so gonna make that fucking joke. After we killed the president in the NCR gear, is going to be like, so, hear about that guy at Forlone Hope? You know, Caesar guy came in and killed everybody. Must have been one handsome devil. How the fuck are you guys having so much goddamn trouble with this guy? Like, what the fuck? You guys have been firing over here for, like, hours. Like, figure it out. And no, they don't keep, they don't get pissed about you going inside these places. Alrighty then. So oh hey buddies. Never stood a chance, did they? Nope. So anyway, ooh, we got a gun cabinet in here. Nice. I'll take these. The game forces us not to have a lot of weight here too, so it's kind of funny. So, uh, this is where we actually need to break into. Now, if you don't have a high enough skill for this... Walkie-talkies, two of them. Very nice. No, wait, nope. I want the whiskey. I'm an alcoholic, thank you. 
But no, you definitely want to, um, if you can't find it, I believe in here? Yes. So you got the key for the cabinet that you're looking for, so they don't totally fuck you over. Yeah, like, I don't get what's supposed to be so terrifying about it, especially if you have stuff in there that you can eat and help you out. Like, I just... I don't get it. I really don't. Because I don't believe that, even if you look it back at certain stuff, I don't think... Did, um... Any Indian tribes do that? I'm trying to think about that. Because, I, I, at least, I'm guessing that this is what they're referencing throughout the whole thing. Anyway, we have to search our asses now. All the way over here. So, let's go on that walk now. <laughs> But, and I mean history-wise, too, because I, know, I think the Indians were very open-minded, especially when we, they brought, um... <gasps> he has a shish kebab? Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, baby, I missed you. Where are you at? Where's my shish kebab at? Fuck that war club. I don't need that war club. Come on, let me... Oh, I just want to repair it, please. Yes. Oh, I miss this baby right here. Well, I won't use this as a main thing for the main game, just because I should use the stuff that I've been using. I'll use the shish kebab for a little bit, just because it uh, brings me back. Good old time Fallout 3. I do think you can get the Pyromaniac perk in this game, too, but it's honestly really useless, because... I don't believe there's almost any other way to get the shish kebab, and if there is, it's very rare to find. So, I mean, the, you don't really have schematics in this game like you did in previous, like in Fallout 3. Probably one of the things I look down upon here. Ooh. We got something bad up here. Oh, Yao Guai. Get down. Oh, shit. Damn, nice shot, dude. I was gonna fucking uppercut that thing with my goddamn... Gun, but you help me out there, buddy. Kind of nice having the dead horses around, too. It really feels like this is their area, not like... It It feels like they're helping, you know? Because I'm sorry to say it, but a lot of games are like, Oh, yeah, this is our area, brah. Don't fuck with us. And then it's like, oh, well, you know, you guys are nowhere to be seen, so what the fuck is up with that shit? So I, I do... I, honest, honest to God, I appreciate the game fucking doing that. And honestly, you wish you could see a little bit about, a little bit more of that in the Fallout game, seeing more people out there that actually try to help. Maybe New Vegas wouldn't be the best example of that, because if you have a bunch of NCR and Legion running around, they could attack you too. But then again, that maybe maybe that would also make the game more entertaining. Because we had those people who threatened us the entire time, and yet we they when we immediately got pardoned by the NCR. They went away, and then I haven't seen anybody from the NCR try to attack us yet, which is really weird. Like, all honesty, it's really weird not to have anybody attack us from the NCR. What the fuck? Where the fuck did this dog come from? Hello? Oh my god, is that his eyes? Oh my god, the eyes are on the side of his head. Oh my god, that is, that is fucking freaky. That is goddamn freaky. You could tell because, uh... The, the dog meat model had two separate eye colors. I know there's a name for it, because it's common in dogs. But is that, more, is that common in humans, too, to have two separate eye colors? Shut the fuck up. But, quick question, does that ever happen in humans, either? I'm asking a lot of questions in these videos. We're talking about fucking uh, Native American history, Native American religion, uh, politics involving, uh, you know being uh, politically correct about fucking Indians, and now all of a sudden we're going off the color of animals, and oh, yay, these things. Shish kebab kind of helps. Do you? What? You are perfectly fine, buddy. Get your shit together. All right, so cash register. Uh, we can get the key to one of the places that we're looking for in here, so I believe it's something down here. And a snow globe for the, to the Zion National Park, and we immediately get 2,000 caps for it for some fucking reason. I believe that would be the amount of caps we'd gotten if we waited for the uh, thing. I killed him. He's my kill. I got it. Alright, so. 
So we got the little scout's lunchbox. Oh yeah, we gotta get five of these fuck at this. The scout lunchbox in here, we gotta get five of those. Oh, and this guy. If we hack this thing, we have this like whole fucking story about this dude trying to get his hands. It's really funny. He's trying to get his hands, I don't know if it's on the lunchboxes or something else. But he's trying to get his hands on something and he can't get it. And it's really funny because apparently he's like, oh, but I got a bunch of these stupid dinosaur toys that were supposed to go to some place in, Nev in Nevada. So it's supposed to be the little dinosaur stuff that they sold at the at Novak. I believe it, the name was Novak. Oh no, fuck that bubblegum. Fuck that bubblegum. I don't think that silencer 22. Or sorry, my 11 millimeter fucking machine gun. What the fuck was that bullshit? <laughs> got it with my 11 millimeter machine gun. <laughs> or my minigun. Ah, uh, you gotta love when people think they try to. Did I really just grab a broom or some shit right there? Did I grab a fucking broom or was that just me? I don't know if I just saw that, but I swear to God, I just grabbed a fucking broom. I don't know. I guess I didn't, but I don't know. This is, this is a little weird. Okay. Quick thing I want to do. Okay. My caps lock was on, so which means I have to, for some fucking reason, so that means if I wanted to change it, I don't want to walk slow. Yeah, we got some good Nuka Colas in here and a lot of, and actually a lot of fucking food. Whiskey right there. And you want turpentine and whiskey. And we should be able to get other stuff elsewhere. Ooh, and duct tape. Yep, and that's all we needed. For future stuff. But we also need to grab those. And coffee mugs if you need those for the thing. <laughs> Looking at them going, oh yeah, baby. Got any mugs? The game even tells you where they're at, so I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. Uh, here? No. <coughs> Fuck. My throat hurts. It's, I don't know, it's weird. I'm getting a little bit more allergy, and it's just like, oh shit, it's a coming. The storm. Oh, that's fucking beautiful. Gotta love that shit. Okay, well, I need to look at the local map. There's two over here. There's nothing in there. Oh, they're on fucking top. I'm sure you guys are fucking screaming at my ass. God damn it, I'm a goddamn idiot. <laughs> uh, be careful coming back here in the future, too. I believe you find yourself Cazadors. So those motherfuckers. And I think you can find some decent stuff in here, too. Oh, yeah, cigarettes. Take those for money later. Money, money. So interesting. Oh, no. The doggies with the eyes on the side of... Oh, my God. Vegas, why do you why do you do this to me? Like scaring the living shit out of me, I swear to god. Well, that's that then. Alright, there we go. God, I love the shish kebab. Anyway, supply kit is what they're looking for. Oh no. Turns out the supply kit was contaminated. So you can either salvage the medical supply kit, replace the contaminated components, sterilize the kit with alcohol, or take an incomplete medical kit with you. Which means we have to do it later. So instead, take the incomplete medical kit with you. Oh, sorry, I sterilize the kit with alcohol. You need scotch, one vodka, or, uh, um, I don't know, you requires one scotch, one vodka, or one whiskey. Uh, replace, sterilize the, uh, the kit with alcohol. And bam! Oh, did I miss something? I must have not. I must have missed something. I guess maybe you can also just use the other stuff as well. That's weird. Nope, another level up. Fuck, where are we at? God damn, we're almost at the end of our fucking level up, guys. Um, hmm. Put that up to fifty-five just in case. All right. Fifty-five energy weapons, and we'll put the we the the West Mayway weapons. Sorry, I can't talk for some reason. And feel free to open these desks for some good shit. Some bobby pins right there if you need it. Yep. Oh, oh. More bullets. I'll take those. Alrighty then. 
There we go. God, he fucking exploded, man. Oh, yeah. I thought I grabbed my uh, gun there. So, I wonder what the whole dog fucking thing for. Like, that just seems so weird. That dog that was down there that helped us out. Just, I, I don't think the dead horses use dogs at all, so... That's weird. They're just, yeah, just a random dog around here. And again, he doesn't have his eyes in his socket. Because he's, he's a fucking rebel. That's what he is. Anyway, so now we can go back to... Again, it's not that hard. We can go all the way back to the Angel Cave. And we are done with that part of the quest. Funny enough. Gotta love that. Really gotta love that. Um, I believe they have a workbench up there we can use for the compass. Hope to God. Because if not, I don't know what I'm gonna fucking do. And again, sorry I didn't show that on screen. That was just some weird stuff that the recording didn't do what, it, what I wanted to do it with, so. Compass. Broken compass. Make it. Kaboom. Yay, that was fucking weird. And feel free to steal those guns up there if you want to, but uh, I don't want to fuck with these guys. Probably not. Actually, I'm really curious. How the fuck can you... Do you get stuck here? If you try to hurt these people at all? Like, that's my question. Or do you just somehow have to find your ass away back home or something? That just seems kind of weird. Alrighty then. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Anything else we can say? Um, some, oh yeah, you can get repairs and you can also trade with them too. We do. Though the yep, so we can actually get some stuff with him if we need to. I don't think I need anything, but I could sell him some good shit. Hunting rifle. The rechargeable pistol, because I really don't need that. God, that shish kebab sells for a lot. But fuck you, it's mine. Alright. Let's say all that fucking fruit I don't need anymore. Blacksmith. Anything else I really wanted to sell was that pre-war money. I grabbed a rake. That's what I grabbed. And the things of cigarettes, because that's what you guys need. Alright. Do you run the show around here? I wouldn't say that. I am the acting war chief for the dead horses. They look up to me for such matters, but I only have the authority they give me. Daniel is a spiritual leader and main link of the new Canaanites to the Sorrows. He's up in the Narrows right now. Alright, so uh, what's going on with all these tribes? A great deal. There are three, make that four, tribes here in Zion. You've already met the White Lake. On the way in. Okay. In this camp, you'll find dead horses. In the Narrows, the Sorrows. And finally, there's Daniel and myself. We are new Canaanites. I don't get why you can call them tribes, but then again, I'm sure that's like some kind of fucking saying you can say for like, like tribes means more than just what we mean for like, again, people that like tribes of cavemen or Indians or, you know, shit like that. Do they speak our language? Most don't. It's been hundreds of years since the war. They've developed their own language. I just think that's weird. Take the dead horses. We think they were originally refugees from a place called Rez, east of the Grand Canyon. They speak a combination of Rez and a language spoken by travelers who were visiting Rez when the bombs fell. Over time, the two languages blended. I was a translator years ago, but it's hard to keep up with all of the tribal variations. Nice. Uh, why did the Wiglags, the White Legs attack my caravan? They attack everyone who isn't a White Leg, especially caravans. They don't know how to survive on their own, so they have to raid. Oh, okay, interesting. But as for why they are here, they are trying to wipe us out. All of us. They want to join Caesar's Legion, and they can only prove their worth by destroying the new Canaanites and everyone we shelter. Nice. So how does this uh, valley belong to the dead horses? I could talk about that, but we're going to see the sorrows soon anyway in the new Canaanites for the tribe. Right now, I'd like you to... Okay, where do we need to go now? I have all your shit, dude. Oh, no, I need to go to the sorrows camp immediately. Okay, okay, that makes sense. I'm cool with that. That was my bad. For some reason, I thought I had to go back there. Because I don't pay attention. Yo, dude, what's up? You want to talk? What can I tell you? 
Is there anything else? Uh, what's up with the obsession you have with civil with the civilization? Let me tell you a story. When I was a boy, a man came through the valley with one of the caravans. Tall man, big mustache, carried a guitar. No fucking way. I asked what he did for his living, and the interpreter told me he was a singer. What is that? I asked. The man explained that he went from place to place and sang for people who gave him food and shelter and care in return. I couldn't believe that there was a place in this world where a man could do that. I promised myself then that one day I'd explore that world myself. That's so weird. Is, is that the son of the mysterious stranger? That's weird. Don't look at the gun I have. Do not, do not look at it, though. What does Joshua think of this? I... I haven't told him yet. Never had the growings. Really? Maybe I can talk to him about it for you. Be a neutral party. You'd do that? Sure. It sounds smart to me. He might not get so mad at you. Tell me more. No, I don't really care about that. All right. Let's talk to you later. Okay. So anyway, in, so I find that to be very interesting then. Okay, I never figured that out the first time because I talked to Joshua once, talked to him about everything, and never talked to him again. So I never ended up seeing his uh, end game because he has end game. Uh, he has an ending to his stuff like most of the other games, uh, most of the other DLCs do. <coughs> so kind of interesting. But at the same time, um, yeah, you can kind of... Uh, you know, talk, what you do can help talk to you about where his story goes. Are we going the wrong way? Really? Have we been going the wrong way? Fuck me. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Don't, don't, uh, don't listen to me. What the fuck did... What the fuck is... Going? Oh, there's the motherfucker. Oh god, he's got a shish kebab. Run! Fucked you up, dude. Mine. Where the fuck? I cannot find these motherfuckers. Come on, one more shot. How the fuck are you not dead yet after that shot? A 12.7 machine gun. Huh, interesting. You want a new gun? Well then. Let's get to trading. Nope, didn't do anything. I was just kind of curious. There's the motherfucker. Yeah, that's right. Fucking run. Oh god, he's got that fucking mana shit. Watch out for that giant fucking claw thing. Those poison you, and oh my god. Seems like you're you're fucking tripping balls in the shit they that that shit that poison does to you. Fucking ridiculous. And it's weird, because I don't think the praying mantises have anything close to that fucking shit. So it's kind of funny that it's like, oh yeah, by the way, somehow praying mantises now all of a sudden have really crazy side effects when you're poisoned by them. So, you know, that's a thing. <laughs> that's why you want a lot of the anti-venom stuff that you find inside the logs and things, because uh, they help you out a lot. I believe your anti-venom stuff from the, pre from, uh, the Mojave work as well, but you get more of the other stuff here as well. And can I just say, the fucking Banana Yaka stuff, the, god, I, why do I have to say that like I have his accent? I don't know why, the Banana, I, I don't fucking know. But anyway, uh, I have to tell you. Up ahead. That's the Sorrows territory. They're peaceful enough, but you don't want to make them mad. Yeah, so anyway, the Banana Yaka always fucking confuses me. I always think it's the fucking white legs, and I start to like crouch and freak out. So yeah, anyway, you go far enough, and... Come on, come on, come on. Fine, be that way. Do, 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 do. Just walking along, minding my own fucking business. I guess you're not going to say anything yet. Okay, whatever. After a while, he's going to talk about how he, how he needs to leave and go back to his tribe. You are the one Joshua Graham sent to us. Blessings of the father in the cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. All right, I like your bear glove. Where can I get one? A sorrow's Yaogwai fist is a sacred symbol. It shows that we belong to the tribe and have willingly undertaken a dangerous quest to aid the tribe. Nice. Each sorrow makes his own. 
And only after hunting and slaying a Yao Guai that threatened our